Varen Tromp, a musician from the Netherlands. Um, I play bass, guitar, guitar, sitar, um, so mostly string instruments, and I'm also producing my own albums and uh, my music, and I play in several projects. Uh, I'm also teaching. Um, today I'm going to show you some things about uh, Beats Color. Uh, most people use Beats Color as a drum uh, sequencer, which is super great for that. You can also you can do some really great drum stuff with uh, experimental rhythms with it. But um, I will use it today as a melodic uh, instrument. So I use it as a melodic sequencer. And it's also great for that, even most people might not know it. So that's why I want to show you this side of Beats Color also. Um, first, I will show you how I set up things and then I will show you some examples and also how I do uh, make melodic scales with uh, MIDI mapping. Um, so yeah, let's let's go. First, I will turn the camera to the computer so you see what I'm doing. I'm using Ableton Live, by the way. Okay, um, so what you want to do first is make a track with Beats Color. It's a MIDI track and you just put uh, this VST Beats Color. You just drag it over here and you have Beats Color on this track. Um, next you have to do, you have to also make a track with a, a MIDI instrument. This is my, uh, it's just a simple marimba sound. Um, then on that track with the marimba sound you have to put the monitor on in and also put this on. Normally it's this, but you have to make it uh, orange. Then with the MIDI from, you put a beats color in there and also put beats color in here. Um, then you go back to a beats color again. Uh, it's here. And you just click on this pattern. And then here in the, in, the, in the bottom it has enable and then you have to enable the sampler. Otherwise you will hear two sounds at once, which you don't uh, want. Um, okay. Uh, I shall play now uh, the pattern. And one thing you have to do is play the pattern in Ableton, not play it, play it here, because that's more for the standalone version. So if I play, put, put on play now, you will hear this. It's playing this sequence now from a beat scholar, but with a marimba sound. That already sounds quite cool, I think, because of the, the different rhythms it has. Um, yeah, you see here, this this is a scale I programmed. It's called a Japanese Hiroyoshi scale. Um, and here you see this uh, mapping. Normally it's like this. You have all these different drum sounds, like kick, snare, hi-hat, and so on. So it has 16 different sounds, but you can also use 16 different notes which you can change like this, just, just drag it and then I drag it back here to the C. So I have this C, D, E flat, G, A flat and C. That's a pentatonic scale and I just copied these pitches uh, another, in another octave here. Um, so if I play the pattern, it's, pl it's playing this scale with these, uh, these rhythms. Uh, but you also can use the random stuff, which makes it even more interesting. So I play it... Um, oh, at f first I'm going to do, I play it with different scales that I program. So I play the pattern and I just scroll to some uh, scales I made. This is another scale, a Jewish, Jewish scale. Uh, this one is... Uh, um, minor harmonic scale, a Lydian scale, some, some more other Indian scale, and so on. Okay, so I've, I've programmed about 30 of these scales, uh, mostly Indian scales, but also some Japanese ones, uh, some pentatonic ones, uh, normal minor, a major and also other uh, pentatonic scales. Um, yeah, that's cool in itself, but you can even make it more cool with uh, with this uh, dice. And the dice, that's meaning a ran that you make it random. And here you can choose which uh, things you want to uh, trigger with the random stuff. 
Um, I'll just play it and I'll just uh, uh, do some random things. And you have to press this one to get the random stuff. So now it's using different uh, notes with the random function. You also can choose uh, which uh, rhythmic values you want to do. For example, now I only want to do only do five, and it changes the parts in, in five. It, it's plays, it's, it sounds like this. whichever rhythm you want, um, for example, uh, two and five. See, see, you make this part in two and this part in, in five. Sounds like this. Actually, you get like a, a like a Steve Reich uh, minimal music vibe. Um, yeah, also notice that this, it has two time signatures, like a 4-4 four, four bar and a 3-8 bar, which also makes it a bit more interesting. Um, so yeah, that's that's one thing, this, this mapping with all the scales and also the random things you can use. Um, okay, let's try another, another sound. Um, put this one off. Um, here I've programmed another uh, beat color and you can use it for uh, different sounds here. Um, first, let's play it and see, see what's happening. So I now have um, programmed a really cool um, delay sound from uh, this great plugin called Dunes Free. Um, it's, it's just a send to it uh, some delay on it. Um, and Beats Color is triggering, triggering the notes again. Um, now I have a C minor uh, scale and a 12 4 bar. Looks, looks like this. I will play it. <laughs> okay, that sounds cool. Um, let's try the random things here. I've only put four now, so it's only dividing in, in four. Uh, this one. See this, uh, yeah, making all kinds of rhythms. Um, let's put on a minor pentatonic scale here and play the same pattern. generating some uh, C minor pentatonic uh, scale uh, rhythms. Um, okay, one thing you have to do, you don't have to do that, but that's how I do it. Um, I put here an, a, a pitch transpose, and that's making everything up uh, an octave. If I put it off, you have this. That was a bit too low for my taste. So I put in a uh, trans pitch transpose, but you can also do that in the in the mapping in the beat scroller if you want. Um, another thing I did here is uh, put some uh, put a random VST, and that's this one. That's in Ableton itself. 
um, it's generating more random uh, stuff. Uh, if I put it off, it's like this. And now I put a random uh, thing. So it's using some kind of random uh, things, which you can adjust here. Also have this uh, VST, which you can, in which you can shorten the notes. It's called 16th notes. So, as you can hear, it uh, makes the notes shorter, sh this is uh, the gate length. So there are all kinds of uh, yeah crazy things you can you can do with this uh, this also. So especially that combination with beat color and also the random stuff in Ableton is something I really really like. Um, yeah, let's check check another sound here. That's also from Dunes. Another sound I made. Uh, I use the same pattern again. <laughs> Let's go back to our original pattern here. Uh, we could make it even one higher with two octaves. But, but it was already two octaves, sorry. This is how it normally sounds. If I uh, put on the random things, you get the more experimental things. Yeah, so that's how I use uh, Beats Color. Uh, I use it in other ways, but this is the thing I'm doing lately. Um, so yeah, more like a melodic sequencer, like I told. And yeah, don't forget the drum side of it, of course, but uh, also use the melodic uh, things.